Hello everyone, how you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Hopefully everyone's having a good Thursday. Uh, it's cold out there, winter's coming, you know, we're almost upon Christmas and New Year's Eve and brand new 2020 year. The winter is upon us, so bunker up, stay warm. Um, on this video, what I'm going to try to do on this video, it's a couple of things. First and foremost, uh, I want to acknowledge to everybody what my channel is all about. Uh, in case some of you don't understand what my channel is all about or you didn't do too much research on me, didn't watch too many of my videos, if that's the case, if you're the new guy and you have no idea how I work, well now this is the video for you to watch. Uh, and uh, it is pretty sad that I even have to mention this. But I feel like I have to mention this because, uh, of course, there's always idiots out there writing stupidity, uh, writing the false information about me, saying all kinds of stupid stuff, which makes no sense, and also writing stupid, pointless comments, which also make no sense. So, first and foremost, let me explain this. Individuals who are saying that uh, I am some sort of... Uh, spokesperson for Google Stadia that I am sponsored by Stadia not true I'm not sponsored by anybody I'm as a in the independent as you're gonna get everything I do is independent I have zero sponsors okay so that's number one okay do you see Google talking about me do you see Phil Harrison talking about me no what this is about it's about me being honest and doing what I promised to do. Beginning of this year, I said in June and July, I said it countless times, I said it on my videos, and if you watch my videos, you would know that. If you were a true, loyal, loyal subscriber and you were watching my videos, you would know that. Uh, that I clearly said that I am going to cover November, December. I clearly said November, December, I'm going to cover Google Stadia and test Google Stadia honestly for people out there to honestly see what this service it's all about does it work does it not work what are the positives what are the negatives and I have covered both I have covered the positives and I have covered the negatives regarding their pricing regarding them not being able to communicate properly with us who actually have bought this, uh, Google Stadia and are using Google Stadia. I have criticized them. I have criticized Phil Harrison for not being more outspoken about the plans for the future of Google Stadia. All of that, it's on my videos. You guys know that. The videos are there, uh, okay? I have credibility. You don't. You just have uh, typing on the keyboards, wasting my time, and then you end up being blocked, and then you wonder why you're being blocked, and then you go and start talking trash about me, which is not true, because you're butthurt that you're being blocked. So, right there, I want to acknowledge that I am not a spokesperson for anybody. And anybody who knows me, anybody who watches my videos knows that uh, I have no sponsors. If I had sponsors, you would know it. If I was a Sony fanboy, you would know it. I would not hide that fact. If I was a Microsoft fanboy, you would know it. I would not hide that fact. Okay? It would be like right in your faces. And I could care less how you feel. But that's not me. I am a fan of technology. I don't care which company, brand, creates the new technology. I don't care. I don't hold my flag for anybody. I'm going to do the same thing for Shadow. I talked about the Shadow Cloud Gaming. I want to do a proper test on Shadow as well. Okay, I'm going to give them the same fair shake when it comes out. Now, as far as the Xbox X Cloud, it's only on the phones. And I don't want to review something that's running on the phone. Okay, once X Cloud becomes full-fledged service, then I'm going to review it. Right now, it's just in being tested in open beta. And it's only on the phones. And it doesn't work that quite well, which is disappointing. All right? So right now, I don't want to focus too much on, on xCloud. I'll focus on the xCloud when the xCloud becomes this full-fledged service. 
PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now, it's still running at a lousy bitrate. It doesn't run that fast. It takes a long time for the game to load. It's not as quick as Google Stadia. Okay, they're using an old technology. All right. Once Sony starts using a better technology, once Sony starts proving to me that they can do this much better, much faster, with low latency, then I'm going to start reviewing them as well. Okay? So, I am doing this in an honest and fair way. I don't care about the corporations. I don't work for Google. I don't work for Microsoft. I don't work for Amazon. I don't work for Sony. And I sure as hell ain't going to hold my flag for anybody. But I don't need you to type me a comment and tell me on what type of videos I should do, on what type of videos I should make. If you don't like my video, guys, if you don't like what I do, you don't have to watch. You don't have to subscribe. You are free to do what you want to do. And I'm also free to block you if I feel I don't have to listen to your nonsense. Okay? So when you write comments, guys, be very careful what type of comments you write. All right? I don't need you to tell me what I should do. But I sure as hell don't need you to put some false claims about me, which is not true. I'm not working for Google. Okay? I'm not working for anybody but myself. And this is what I do. I try to cover both positives and negatives, which is something every YouTuber out there should do, every big YouTuber out there should do, which is something Digital Foundry should do, which is something Young Ya should do, which is something Gamer Nexus should do, which is something all these other big YouTubers living in La La Land should do. But they're not going to do it because they're afraid of losing their subscribers and afraid of the backlash. Me, I'm not afraid of the backlash because I don't give a rat's ass. I'm independent. I'm free. I don't care how you feel. Whether you like it or don't, I'm going to call it the way I see it. And that's that. And I sure as hell ain't going to put up with your stupid comments. I have blocked tons of people in the past for writing these stupid comments like this. You know, and I'm going to show some of these stupid comments. Uh, and I'll show one of the stupid comments, which really makes no sense. And, and it's really ridiculous. <laughs> From somebody who was hoping that maybe I'm going to be a, a Sony spokesperson. Because he saw me defending Death Stranding. He saw me uh, uh, speaking about Death Stranding. And days gone, and all of a sudden, oh, if this guy is defending the Death Stranding, if this guy is defending the Days Gone, oh, he must be a Sony fanboy there in there somewhere. You see, this is the mindset that some of you have, and this is where you fail. Guys, I'm not holding a flag for anybody. This is just me being honest, okay? Truth and honesty. If Google Stadia didn't work, guess what? I would be the first one to tell you that it doesn't work. Stay away from this. This is a, poor, a waste of time. But it works. Technology works. Now, do they have games? Unfortunately, they don't have that many games. Uh, they have a lot to go with. And I've been criticizing them for not having that many games. I did criticize them for not letting us know what they're going to do in the future. I did criticize Google Stadia. I'm not here... Uh, holding flags for them and just throwing them a softball. I have criticized Google Stadia many, many times. I've made videos, even in the last week I made a video where I criticized, where I said I'm worried about Google Stadia, that it might fail. But you, you failed to watch that video, didn't you? Okay? And you also given me no choice but to expose you. Uh, to expose you. And the reason I'm doing this is not because I'm trying to be a dick. The reason I'm doing this is to send a message to others out there who want to waste their time typing me some stupid comment, wasting my time with stupidity, okay, and then putting false claims to let them know that, hey, you're just wasting your time. You're just wasting your time. You obviously don't know me. You don't know my channel. But I guess I have to let you know, for the future reference, for the others out there who want to act as if they know me, who want to act that they know me, Dude, I'm not your fanboy. I'm not your Sony fanboy. If you want a Sony fanboy, go watch that other guy out there that talks about Sony all the time. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name, but you know who he is. Go join him. Subscribe to him. There's plenty of Sony fanboys channels out there. 
plenty of Sony fanboys channels out there. Plenty of Microsoft Xbox fanboys channels out there. Go join them. Please, go join them. You, you're, you're in the wrong channel. I'm telling you right now, and I'm going to show you who you are. But you're in the wrong channel, man. You're in the wrong channel. Okay? I'm not here holding a flag for anybody. <laughs> And it's pretty sad, it's pretty pathetic that I even have to acknowledge this. Because you know, you know better that that's not me. But on your comment, you truly acknowledge that you are a Sony fanboy. Which I'm going to read your comment because it's really, really... Uh, you, exp you exposed yourself, friend. You have exposed, exposed yourself. And you only got yourself to blame for this. Because you asked for this and you exposed yourself... So it is what it is. You, you leave me no choice. And people have to see this because they need to see why I block people. They need to understand why certain people are blocked. So that way the message is cut and clear on why I block people and why I have zero tolerance for stupidity. Okay? And thank God that it's not that many. It's only a handful of them. Okay, I have a lot of support from, from thousands of people out there. From many different types of countries. From uh, Indonesia, India, Asia, Latin America, Mexico, North America, United States, Canada. Okay, Europe, United Kingdom. But of course, just like everything else, you're going to have uh, the handful of uh, stupidity out there. Uh, writing stupid comments. So let me go ahead. Let me uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. For the most part, look, this video here, Ghost Recon Breakpoint HDR 4K shines on Stadia. Okay. Uh, this this video right here, uh, what I try to do is just show you that 4K and HDR works. That this technology works. If you have a good stable internet, you're going to appreciate having something like this without a high-end PC. Building a high-end PC, it's expensive, okay? Having a high-end PC built, it's expensive. Even buying a console at $500, it's expensive. All right? And then buying the games on top of that. And an extra controller. An extra hard drive, which you have to get another hard drive that costs money too. You have to have extra space to download the games, to to uh, download your saves. You got to have at least 12 terabytes of hard drive to have all these games. And then it takes a long time to download the games. It takes a long time to up update the games. But nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to mention that. I have to mention that. So that's what this video was really about. Yes, I had some problems when I was... Uh, I did this from my phone. So I said uh, 4K shines on Stadia P, which I'm going to correct that in the future. Uh, but let's go uh, look at some of the comments. Uh, this is the one right here that's really a shame because this guy subscribed to me. But, dude, you can unsubscribe right now. Uh, you know, you don't have to be uh, subscribed to me. Uh, I'm just letting you know. All right? Just because you subscribe to me doesn't mean... I'm going to go ahead and, and lick your boots and, and kiss your ass, okay? You're getting the wrong impression. You're getting the wrong impression about me, okay? Uh, it's a free will. You don't have to be subscribed. You don't have to donate. It's all a free will. But I, by, I as well don't have to dance to your tunes. You can buy me off. Guys, no one can buy me off. I'm free. And if you think you can come to my channel thinking that you can buy me off and to be some kind of a spokesperson for your brand, you're coming to the wrong channel. You're wasting your time coming here, okay? And now I got to expose this. For the most part, I got a good comments. You know, people do appreciate this new technology, regardless of what they might think about Google. But here's the one that really kind of like, that just drives me crazy. This one right here this one right here uh, let's let's read this comment in this comment it's really uh, self exposing itself so I'm gonna read it for you this is from Peter Parker which he is also subscribed to me and it's a shame he subscribed to me because he thinks I am Sony Sony fanboy 
uh, which I'm not. And now he thinks I'm a Google Stadia fanboy, which I'm not. So let's read this, which is all false, by the way. Everybody has their own opinion, but it seems like you are trying to convince everyone. It's not a pill to swallow. I am just not sure why you try so hard to fight for Stadia. It doesn't matter that it works. If that performs better, faster than your PC, something is wrong. I know you think I just hate because I am a Sony fanboy, but nothing could be further from the truth. I do not like subscription game because when you have to keep content coming regularly, the game quality gets bad. Just look at the Game Pass. All Xbox first party games are trash. PlayStation now has been doing this six years, but people acting like Google did something new. Sony does remote play using your PlayStation as the server for free. Microsoft has just now done remote play, but it's locked behind a paywall with the xCloud. And yes, I am in the beta, but won't be paying $25 a month for it. I hope people are as fast to defend PlayStation now when it gets its 1440p 60 upgrade. Because it does work for $10. There's 800 games and PlayStation 4 are downloadable. Google would have more respect if they gave the option for hardware and native play. There is a very bad thing about corporations like Google. If they had the power, now games would be expensive, monetized. To hell, the quality would go out the window. Play games, not corporation. Peace. Yeah, whatever. Peace. Uh, first of all, there's so much wrong with your comment. Uh, anybody who reads your comment, Peter, can obviously tell that you're a Sony fanboy. You're already criticizing the Game Pass, even though Game Pass has the best value in terms of gaming. PlayStation Plus doesn't have the value. You're paying $25 a month plus $10, plus $10 for the PlayStation Now. Okay, that's $35 plus tax, $38, nearly $40 a month. Okay, and what value are you getting from uh, PlayStation Plus? All right, Xbox is giving you exclusives. Is PlayStation Plus giving you exclusives? Are you going to get the uh, the Last of Us 2 for f uh, part of a subscription? No. Are you going to get uh, all of these PlayStation exclusive games part of uh, the PlayStation Plus? No. No, you're not going to get it. Are you going to get Ghost of Tsushima part of PlayStation Plus? No, you're not. There's only one company that's doing that, Peter, and that's Xbox. It's the only company that's letting you have all of their exclusive games part of subscription game pass ultimate with more value in terms of gaming so anybody who reads your comment they can see that you're acting like a sony fanboy even you having that peter parker you know spider-man 2 you're a fan of spider-man 2 i like spider-man game 2 as well but i don't hold a jersey for Sony okay you are holding a jersey for Sony and you're acting like a fanboy and as you as you should know I don't tolerate fanboyism on my channel majority of people whom I blocked were fanboys okay and what else did you say you say that the Xbox first party games are trash well they're not all trash you know Ge Gears 5 it's fun we got you know flight simulator 2020 we got Halo Infinite coming out we got Forza Horizon they're not all trash, but from your fanboyistic point of view, from your Sony fanboy point of view, you are going to say that. And then you say, why am I trying so hard to fight for Stadia? I'm not fighting for Stadia. I'm doing which everyone else on this planet and on the YouTube should have done. Be fair. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to be fair. So there's nothing me here fighting or holding a jersey for Google. I'm simply trying to give people an honest, unbiased view on this service. Okay? That's what this is about. I'm not holding a jersey for Google Stadia. But you seem to hate every company that's not PlayStation. That's what that's the fanboyistic point of view. You have a fanboyistic point of mind, and anybody who reads your comment can obviously see that. Okay? And listen. You don't have to be subscribed to me. If you don't like what I do, you can unsubscribe. Uh, please don't put me in a position where I have to block you. I'm giving you one more chance. But I think ultimately I'm going to block you because I, I see that you're a fanboy. Uh, 
you know what you know what man uh, I'm gonna do this right now just to prove the point guys I have to do this because I have to prove the point for everybody else out there if you're a fanboy this is gonna happen I don't give a rat's ass if you donate I don't give a rat's ass if you subscribed you don't come to my channel with that kind of stupid comment and, and fanboyistic points of view I don't tolerate that guys I have zero tolerance for that now you know why why you block people those who have been blocked in the past now you know why they're being blocked because of stupid comments a comment that has nothing legitimate everything this guy said it's false from the beginning to the end every single word that he put in was a fanboyistic point of view there was nothing in there that was some criticism about me that was legit no legit criticism he's criticizing me from being an honest unbiased person that it's uh trying to give google stadia a fair shake i'm reviewing google stadia the way it should be reviewed honestly but he doesn't like that he doesn't like it because it's true that it's working and he's afraid of the fact that it's working and he's afraid of the fact that the cloud gaming will take over so guys lesson learned here i want you to learn the lesson here this is how you get blocked guys this is how you get blocked on my channel and and, and this should be this should be cut and clear case as to why you get blocked okay and it's pretty sad and it's pretty sad that i have to do this but guys you give me no choice guys you give me no choice you give me no choice but to do that and also let me show you what i wrote to him this is what i wrote to him this is not about google this is about cloud technology this has never been done before and it's true this type of cloud gaming has never been done before with the low latency with uh barely any input lag running at the 4k and hdr high bitrate h.264 possibly h.265 codec this has never been done before to have something like this in 4k hdr running at the 60 to 30 frames per second all right and then i said so far only two companies are doing this google and shadow i'm not playing for any corporation you know that very well I do not care who is the company that brings out the new tech. This just happened to be Google to do this first. And they are the first one doing this. Who else has done it in 2019? Okay? This just happened to be Google to do this first in a low latency, no lag, 4K60 HDR. Okay? So, guys, I hope you learned something here. I hope you learned that uh, uh, this is how you get blocked guys I don't care if you donate to me I don't care if you subscribe to me I don't ask anybody to subscribe I don't ask anybody to donate this is a free will okay but if you are donating to me if you are subscribing to me in hope for me to be your ambassador for your uh, brand then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. I'm not a spokesperson from anybody. I'm not a spokesperson for Google. This is just me doing what I said I was going to do, to be honest and to review this service. And this service is not easy to review because it's review in progress. And that's what I said I was going to do in June of this year. I clearly said on my videos, I said that I was going to do a proper test November, December. November December I said it I'm gonna do proper tests on Google Stadia to let you guys know how it works so for those of you who are maybe interested in this service you have unbiased tests unlike young yeah sitting behind his toys and, and his swords or the other guy gamer Nexus you know all talking trash about this service or digital foundry talking trash about this service without actually acknowledging any positives okay I have mentioned both positives and negatives about this service I criticize Google Stadia 
for not giving us more information on their future plans. I did criticize Google Stadia for not giving us more price cuts on the games. I did criticize Google Stadia for not including more games at a, as a part of uh, pro subscription. I have included a bunch of criticism on Google Stadia when it's due. But at the same time, I also acknowledge the positives that it has. So that's what makes me relevant, guys. What makes me relevant uh, is the fact that is the fact that I acknowledge both positives and negatives independently. And that's why I'm relevant still because of that. Which is something uh, others out there should do. Maybe you should try it. Uh, maybe you should try to be independent. And I'm proud of being independent. I'm proud of uh, not holding a flag for anybody. And uh, which is uh, something that no one else out there is doing. And, and this only proves my point. How many fanboys there are out there. Uh, just holding the flags, you know, uh, joining one, one group or the other. I don't join no groups though. But I want you to take away something very important on this video. Guys, uh, I hope you learned your lesson. For those of you who are new. This is really for those of you who are new. Uh, I don't tolerate fanboyism. I'll take the criticism if I'm due criticism. But I'm not going to tolerate stupid comments like this one right here. Which is clearly nothing but a fanboyistic point of view. This is just a fanboyistic point of view. All right, if you read this comment, it's nothing but someone acting like a fanboy. And then the same fanboy is trying to tell me uh, and criticize me and, and tell me that I'm, you know, being a Google Stadia fanboy, is trying to tell me what to do on my channel. Uh, there's really nothing on this comment, nothing on this comment that makes any sense because... He admits, he admits that he's a Sony fanboy. He clearly says that he's a Sony fanboy. And I'm clearly letting you know, no hard feelings, man. But uh, if you're a fanboy, I don't want you here. That's why you blocked. You know, maybe you should learn next time what type of comments to write uh, when you write them. Okay? You don't have to like Google. I'm not asking you to like Google. But what I don't want you to do is to tell about me as if I'm some kind of a spoke person for Google Stadia. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to tell me how I should run my channel, okay? And as sure as hell, anybody who reads your comment, they can see exactly how you were trashing everything else except Sony. So you are trashing everything, including Microsoft, but you're not trashing Sony. Why is that? Why can't you give any negative to Sony? Why does your Sony doesn't have a 4K player built into it? Why? Why does your Sony PlayStation console doesn't play back PlayStation 3 games? Or PlayStation 2 games? Or PlayStation 1 games? Okay, so guys, do me a favor. If you're going to come to my channel, put away your Sony or your Microsoft Xbox or your PC hats. Put your fanboy hats down. I have zero tolerance for fanboys. Okay? And if you're a fanboy, unsubscribe. Don't make me block you. Because I have zero. I have. It's like me drinking water. I have no problem blocking people. I don't have time for you. I don't have time for your bullshit. I don't have time for your nonsense. If you come to my channel and you don't like what I do, there is the door. Leave. Leave. Go join other fanboys out there. There's plenty of fanboys channel. This here is not a fanboys channel. Also, if you're a Google Stadia fanboy, don't bother. Okay? I'm not here to hold a flag for anybody. I'm not holding a flag for anybody. But I sure as hell, I'm not going to sit here and listen to some stupidity. And this is a stupidity of a comment. It's what it is. And this is how you get blocked. Lesson learned. I hope you guys learned your lesson. So next time you want to bring your uh, fanboy hat on, don't bring your fanboy hat on and don't tell me what to do on my channel. Don't put false accusations about me that I'm some Google spoke person when I'm not. If you're going to talk about me, talk about me in truthful ways. 
in a correct ways. Okay, if you're going to criticize me, bring something concrete to criticize me. But so far, I see nothing. I just see uh, stupid comments like this. Okay, and that's what this is about. Sorry that this video is long, that it's 30 minutes, but you guys leave me no choice but to do this like this. All right, so you all have a good one. I'll see you guys pretty soon. Uh, and uh, for everybody else out there who understand what my channel is about, thank you for watching. Okay, just remember, I don't hold flag for anybody. You can have your opinions, but if you write stupid comments like this, what do you think was going to happen? You're more than welcome to read this comment. He cannot delete this because I blocked him. I'm the one that's going to leave this comment here so everybody can read it. Okay? So, the reason I'm making this video is to send a clear message for all you who are new out there and who don't know me. Now you know me. I take zero tolerance of stupidity like this. All right? If you want to bring something concrete, bring it. If you want to criticize me something that that it's legit, criticize me with something that's legit with a hundred percent concrete proof. But if you're gonna sit there and just write some bullshit that it's not true, but you're gonna act like a Sony fanboy throughout the entire comment and then you're gonna say peace, uh, forget about that peace. All right, it doesn't mean nothing, man. All right, so let the lesson be learned. All right. Other than that, you all have a good one though. Take care. This is the real guy, a real dude. The last of the Mohicans, probably on the YouTube. Because uh, I don't see anybody else being straight up out there. I don't see any, anybody else being a real talk. I don't see anybody else being out there honest and independent. Everybody's joining some kind of a, a fanboyistic uh, club. If you come here to me with some fanboy club, you're just wasting your time, guys. I'm not your ambassador. I'm not your spokesperson. I'm independent. Okay? And that's what that is. Take care. Have a good one, though. Cheers.